on this week's episode. We're taking you to Massachusetts, Salem, Massachusetts, Winter Island Park to be exact. Salem is rich in history, as you all know. They call it the good city. Hmm, wonder why. But we're not here for its history. We're here for Winter Island Park. Yeah, it's a small park. It's only around 30 acres or so. But it is big and fun and full of amenities. And we're going to see them all. We're going to give you as much information as we can to make your trip as fun as possible. This is so exciting. I'm so excited. We're near the ocean. This is Salem. I've never been to Salem in my life. So hurry up and grab a beer and meet us back here, guys. Because Lee's going to check in and we're going to get the ball rolling. Let's go. All right, guys, we are camping in a place that's typically known for Halloween. And yes, I got the state wrong last week. Next week, we're going to be in New York again. And this one's going to be at Winter Island. Shh, don't say winter too loud because we don't want the winter to come. I knew we were coming to Massachusetts, but I said New York. We will get a kick out of this one, so. Uh -oh. So anyways, this is called Winter Island, and it's in Massachusetts. We are surrounded by water. This place is gorgeous. People just come here to use the pavilions, um, to view the lighthouses, just the harbor itself. It's beautiful. So, can't wait to show you this one. Stick around. You're going to love it. Here we are, as you've seen on our ride in, it was raining and the rain continued throughout the day and night. But luckily enough, there were some breaks in between so we were able to go explore as much as we could. And man, this place is gorgeous. Now, even though we are on an island, there are hiking trails and walking paths. And we started to take a trail, but we got sidetracked as soon as we came across this little area. And we were stuck here for a while. So many little areas that you can stop and kick your feet up and enjoy the water, D and I took advantage of it. These lights caught our eye. We had to go check it out. And when we walked over, we weren't disappointed. This pavilion was huge, but behind it, we were stunned. We came at the perfect time because the flowers falling down just added that extra touch. And you don't even have to be staying at the campground to enjoy these, you can rent them. Now it seems the focal point of coming to the harbor is this lighthouse. This is called Winter Island Light or Fort Pickering Lighthouse and it was established in 1871. And 
like all lighthouses, it was to safely direct ships into the sail of harbor, regardless of the time of day. But now it's primarily used for the recreational area, and you can visit it. Unfortunately, you can't go in, but take a look at some of these shots. Ah, here we are. Day three. We finally got some sun. Look at those skies. There are several tours to be had here, and one of them is the trolley tour. It runs around five times a day, and you can get the info at the check-in desk. And if you're bored and adventurous, you can embark on an interactive sailing excursion off the coast of Salem. This is a replica of the historic privateer schooner. Just look at the floating bar. <laughs> Need I say more? Here's Waikiki Beach. Waikiki is the main beach on the island, and it was never overcrowded. Now, believe it or not, this beach has served the North Shore for centuries. And today, it's a public beach for swimming and sunbathing. It's a great place for walking and sightseeing. the trail to the right it'll lead you over the rocks and right to the lighthouse. Dee and I spent a lot of time here along with some other people. It was the perfect spot to watch the sun go down and just enjoy the Atlantic Ocean views. As we touched on earlier there are trails here. It's called the Winter Island Trail <laughs> and it circles the whole island so you get a view of the north and south side of the uh, peninsula and it's a gorgeous hike short and gorgeous can't beat that Let's go check out the sites. The sites here are different. There's so many different types and styles. There's tenting sites and RV sites. There are plug-ins, 50 down to 20. You know, this campground is situated on the waterfront of the Salem Harbor, and it's just a short distance from downtown. Only around two, two and a half miles or so. Um, and it's the closest campground to Boston in the Massachusetts area. Um, the campground offers 22 tenting sites and 28 RV sites. After visiting hundreds of campgrounds, we've never seen anything like this. This is an ammunition depot from back in the 18 and early 1900s. And that's a group site in the center with three located on the outside. Tell me that's not cool. Now these numbers here might not be correct. I can't find these sites on the map. There was no numbers, but for the four days we were there, people shuffled in and out of there. 
But here's where we were located. We're at site 46. This is called the field section. It's nice, just an open field with around 12 to 15 sites on it. There is electric and there is water. Depending on your preference, these could be star sites or they could be a no-no. They're located right next to the bathhouses and this is the pathway to take you to Waikiki Beach. So you're gonna have a lot of foot traffic coming by you. Which again, depending on your preference, could be a good or bad thing. Um, but once again, it is located right next to the beach so you're gonna hear those waves crashing. And um, right there, as you go into the beach, there's actually free suntan lotion that Lee was speaking of. <laughs> yeah, guys, we had a lot of weird things happening to us here that we won't speak of. But there's one thing we will approve of is the campground. This place was awesome. So many amenities, so much to do in a small 30 acre area. So guys, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a like and maybe subscribe. And um, thanks for watching. So until next week. We love you guys. Subscribe now. Sir, yeah.